people can be treated as human beings and, you know, not just the rich. Murray Martin is a housing activist with ACORN, the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. And he says because BC has no vacancy control, landlords can set their monthly rent fees to whatever they want when the unit is vacated. We're demanding the province enact full rent control, which, which is called vacancy control. So, so the rent is tied to the unit if, if that takes away the motivation for landlords to evict people because they can't raise the rent if they evict you. City News asked the BC government about vacancy control, but they did not get back in time for broadcast. So right now we have a, a system of half rent control. So when you're in the unit, the, the rent control is tied to you being in the unit. Once you leave or the landlord evicts you, they can raise the rent to the sky high. According to Zumper, a rental website, in July, the average rent for a one-bedroom in Vancouver is $2,800, a 17% increase compared to 2022. And in Surrey, the median price is just under $2,000, a 24% increase compared to the year before. The focus on housing is for-profit. So you're not going to get housing in BC unless you're making some real estate company or rich or some wealthy person rich. On Friday, a Reddit user shares landlords and rental agencies are pulling down their housing ads on Craigslist, only to repost them days later with increased rental rates. And with one user adding, I listed a unit for rent in the past week. I got close to 400 replies. The demand for housing is absolutely insane. And this Craigslist post looking for housing says they're leaving the place they're staying in now because they share a bathroom with eight people. People have to live in overcrowded conditions. Existing affordable rentals are the landlords aren't doing any maintenance. So there's like cockroaches, there's bed bugs, the buildings are falling apart because they're just seen as an investment. ACORN plans to rally on Tuesday at Seymour and Nelson to stop financialized landlords. Today, housing is more than ever, it's, it's a commodity, so it's being built for a profit, to make money for someone. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.